One of the most interesting animatronics that has come out in recently has to be the Mimic. The Mimic, as its name says, it mimics. This played a huge role in the security breach where Gregory's friend Casey gets a message from Gregory telling Cole that he's trapped in the pizza plex and sees the only one that can, who can help. Ironically, that wasn't Gregory who was sending the message for him, but instead, it was the Mimic. After the events of security breach, Gregory and Vanessa sealed the Mimic away, and to make sure they built or someone built the MXES to keep the Mimic from escaping. The thing is that Gregory is a kid and accidentally left his backpack and walkie-talkie down with the Mimic, allowing it to eventually break free from its prison because of Ka Casey because he didn't know. We don't know if the elevator ending is the true ending or if Casey's dead or because of the elevator crash, but the Mimic is free yet again and it seems like it's the main antagonist in the series now. The Mimic's design is very basic, it's just like a normal exoskeleton we have seen in the game, but with some small differences. For one, it looks older compared to the exoskeletons we have seen in Security Breach and Ruin, with two legs that don't match and with fibers coming out of its left thigh on its right foot and left ankle on its left foot. It's a basic but effective design and I'm gonna be honest, I'm so happy that William isn't the villain anymore because it's kinda getting tiring so I'm really excited for more stuff for the Mimic. But what exactly is the Mimic and where did it originate from? So, so it was explained in one of the tales from the Pizza Flex books. So the Mimic was built by someone named Edwin Moy to copy any movements it sees and to care for Edwin's son, David. After David sadly dies in a car accident, Edwin beats the crap out of the Mimic with a metal pipe because of what happened, which at least he isn't beating another person, it's fine, but the Mimic, you know, it mimics, so it became very violent. A week before Christmas, Fazbell Entertainment sends a small team to the abandoned factory that Edwin worked at to clean up the mess. While they are doing that, they find the remains of the Mimic. It appears to be functional, but it doesn't move in its slightest. So stupidly, the team decides to fix up the Mimic, and it comes to life and kills every single one of them in a similar way when Edwin beat the crap out of the Mimic with the metal pipe. It subs one man, one man into a refrigerator and impels another with a metal wad in a closet while hanging him from a coat hanger which he learned from watching David and Edwin use the refrigerator and closet, which is absolutely insane that it's using similar tasks to mimic what happens, but like on an extreme way that's murderous and can actually kill people. This is actually terrifying and how gruesome the thing destroys everyone with ease. A month later, a second team was sent. The mimic decides to hide in various costumes and ambushes the men and it eats a gory death as it kills them with its superhuman strength. During the first epilogue, a worker plunges, plugs his laptop into the Mimic, giving it the task of removing the heads and arms from various endoskeletons and throwing them into a pile. It does its job, but eventually it starts doing what it was programmed to the employees, meaning it's whipping off heads, it's whipping off arms, basically killing everyone. And just like Fazbear Entertainment does with everything, they cover up everything and the construction site was sealed off to prevent people from entering, which they said sealed off. They don't care about the people. They just don't want another lawsuit on their hands because Fazbear Entertainment is infamous at this point with how much bad stuff has gone with the company, William Afton, all the kids dying, all the, the two places catching on fire. And it also doesn't help that they built security breach, the, the place that the game takes place, a top of Pizza Wheel Simulator, for some odd reason. I don't know how they did that, but they decided to build on top of it. Like, Fazbell Entertainment is a master at, like, covering up stories. They are, they are gods at it. So, they don't, they did not care about the people at all. They only cared about not getting that lawsuit or making more bad things happen with the company because it's like a bad omen at this point. There's so much bad things that's been happening. Even when they made a team make a VR game, some guy cut, cut off his face with a flipping paper cutter, and you know, the main character we were playing as, and help wanted was Vanessa, and that glitch trap, you know what, that happened. Very confusing, but Frasbell Entertainment felt that was a destroyer of evil at this point. But, uh, Though in the second epilogue, 18 angels sneak into the sealed up pizza place and they become trapped inside the pizza place. It's very similar like how a horror movie would start, you know, got a group of survivors, they go in or like some stupid forest or lake, you know, how that happens. They get trapped and guess who's there? It's the Mimic. So the Mimic hides inside the costumes like it did with the last employees 
and it kills the teenagers and so and it surprises them the teens find a way there which i believe to be gregory asking for help because you know he left his walkie talkie though so the mimic's probably using his voice to like oh the teenagers be like wait someone's down here we might as well go help him but uh you know it was the mimic all along and you know <laughs> so uh all the teenagers died uh so very sad but you shouldn't be sneaking to abandoned places but the kids did not dissolve a gruesome death like that now that we know the lore about the mimic what do i think about it and its future in the series from what i just read the mimic is a huge threat to everyone it can easily ambush people if it's mimicking people's voices or using costumes we can actually see the costumes wound one ending with one ending, the mimic wearing a outfit that looks like a lion type of mascot, and some others, but they are very hard to see than the lion's outfit. Very curious on what will happen next because we barely know what happened after we like if Casey dies or not. It was I was hoping that Help Wanted 2 was going to answer some of our questions, but it brought up even more questions with the Vanny glitch trap ending, which looks like Vanny destroying glitch trap. I am very excited for more news, but it looks like we're going to have to wait for a while because some news of because it is going to be the 10th anniversary and there's already a lot of stuff going on so i doubt we're going to get any information we're already getting a book we're getting a new game and there's probably other secrets like that click team game that's going on or maybe that fnaf 4 2 game that with the new little bit design we honestly don't know but i hope during this year or at least next year we get some information more information about the mimic or what's next in the series of the games but i am very happy and the mimic is a pretty dangerous animatronic we can clearly see and it's gonna be it's gonna make the story very interesting you could say but uh yeah also before i end this video one thing i want to talk about is the ending for uh ruin i honestly don't believe casey dies because at the end of the credits we can actually hear Roxy say casey also sorry if i'm saying her name wrong i haven't played security boys in a while but uh yeah i'm pretty sure she's uh, still alive so maybe the next game will pick off well the elevator ending happened there was already a fan game that someone made a uh, doco and uh fusion z gamer made a video off of it i tried playing it but it, it you know but what do you guys think about the mimic a daily new threat or is all these somehow gonna bring back william Afton? so tell me in the comments below like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time goodbye